Hey everyone, it's Rene. Today we're going to be making some Boo Halloween cookies. It's pretty much following the same thing as I did in my last video with my Eek cookies as far as like recipes and canning cookies go. Right before I bake them, I'm just going to arrange them a bit creepy or as I want my cookies to bake. So I bake them for about 8 to 10 minutes to 350 and just keep an eye on them. And once that's done and cooled, I'm just going to go and um, decorate my cookies. For that I'm going to be using first my black realizing and I'm just going to go for the B1 and do the the outline and the filling and I'm using 20 to 25 consistency for this one. After that I'm just going to let my cookie set and dry once it's dry and make sure it's completely dry because otherwise the next step is going to like ruin the whole the previous step so i'm just going to go and take my scrap tool and just going to um, pretty much scratch on my cookie here and there not going in any particular order but just kind of scratching cookie with my scrap or needle tool then i'm going to take my plain white realizing and i'm just going to draw or apply with my realizing my spider web drawing two, three lines with uh, waves on themselves and then going and pretty much gathering those waves like the pointy part of the wave to one line if that makes any sense but yeah just um, draw spider webs as you know for my spider I'm just going to draw first a line and then the spider itself with four lines and then just um, some icing on the top in there to just make the body nice and fluffy and this is it for like the B. For the O, it's pretty simple and actually one of my favorites. I'm just going to apply a pair of eyes, which is just two dots of realizing, white realizing, and that before it dries, using the wet on wood technique, I'm just going to apply two dots of black realizing. And I'm just going to wait for that to really dry. Okay, this is going to be a mummy, so you're going to simulate the mummy uh, motion in there. I'm just going to go from one side to the other, um, you know, just applying my white realizing wherever I feel like doing it. Just, you know, cover as much of the cookie as you want to cover. This is pretty much optional. Then I'm just going to wait for that to dry or set and I'm just going to apply a second, we could say a second coat, just so um, there is a difference between what's going underneath and what's going on the top. And then that's going to be it for this one, actually. It's pretty simple and quite cute. I love that. And I'm just going to let this dry and set. For my O, I'm just going to go and uh, do the same thing that I did in the first one, but with orange. And then once it's dry, I'm going to apply six lines going from top to bottom, but just, you know, working with the curve that I have from the shape of my cookie. And just I'm just working with a somewhat thick consistency. I'm using the tipless piping bags that I made that review on my channel a few weeks ago. The hole I made in this bag is pretty small. So just so you know, once I'm done, I'm just going to let the whole thing, um, you know, set and dry. And I'm just going to go with my green realizing. And I'm pretty much going to be working with the green part. My realizing was a bit too loose for this one, so yes, so you know. But then once it's dry, I'm just going to apply three lines going from the kind of like the bottom part to the top. And just kind of arranging the whole thing as I want it to look. Then once it's done, I'm just going to add a couple of uh, swirls on each side of my cookie. For this one, I think it would look better if my icing was a bit uh, less loose because you would be able to see this shape of, of like the swirls. Then I'm just going to draw a few spiders, well a lot of spiders and this is how I did it. I pretty much uh, painted the legs of the spiders with my edible food marker and then added the body of my spiders with my black realizing just like I did in the first cookie. And I'm just going to add as many spiders as I feel like they would be in this cookie. You can go as crazy as you want or just as simple as you want. For my exclamation mark, I actually did this cookie on my last video. You can check it out right there. But yeah, this is pretty much it. I just wanted to share this one. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video and share it. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween if you celebrate it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.